everybody, Ian Foreman here at Vance Isle Music Academy in Huntington Beach, California. I'm a current drum instructor Monday through Thursday, and this lesson today will be upon the verse groove into the chorus groove and the big fill on running down the dream. Uh, let's get to the verse groove into the chorus groove first. So all you're doing on the verse groove is pretty simple. That's what I like about this song because uh, beginners and intermediate drummers love it. So the first groove you got to learn is just a basic quarter note. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Snares on two and four. Bass is on one and three. The money beat, basically. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But when it goes on the chorus, it adds an eighth note to it. And the BPM for this song is around 169. So it feels like you're doing 16th notes. But it, at the end of the day, you're doing eighth notes. So it sounds like this. I'm going to go back and forth, probably four measures. One, two, ready, play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four. What I would try to do, and I, I do this with my students, is it's a lot of endurance to do those eighth notes that quick. So try to do the eighth note to the whole song. And then see how you're like, if you're dying at the end of it, then that means you need to practice some of your eighth notes or fast 16th notes. But that is the groove for the chorus or the verse into the chorus. So let's get to the big fill. This song happens, it has a big fill, and it happens three times in the song. And it's after each chorus. And then, sorry, after the first two choruses into the last guitar solo. But the fill, uh, it's almost like a bossa note. And you can add as much as you wanted to. I'm sure you could do it on the toms if you wanted to, if you're in a cover band, whatever. But this is what he's doing on the record. So what I would do if you're a beginner is just do the quarter note on the hi-hat, and then you're going to do the subdivision with your left hand on the snare drum. So the first measure is on the one, the and of two, and the downbeat of four on your snare drum. So it's one and two and three and four and. It's almost like a bossa basic pattern. We're going to do that with the quarter note. One and two and three and four. The second measure. The snare drum's on the and of one, the downbeat of three, and the downbeat of four. So that sounds like this. One and two and three and four. So quarter notes together, both those measures together, I mean. One, two, ready, play. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three, four. That's what I would do if you were a beginner. But if you're kind of intermediate, or I mean this subdivision might help you doing the eighth notes on here. So let's try the eighth notes with the same snare pattern. Ready, play. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. One, two, ready, play. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three, four, one. So to get that whole fill together, we have to add the bass drum in. It's, it's similar to a bossa, but it's almost like a, it feels like a triplet kind of fill. So the bass drum's gonna be on the and of one, downbeat of two. One and two, and then three and. That's the first measure. Second measure be one and two and three and four and. So put that together, this whole fill sounds like this. One, two, do a little slower this time. One, two, ready, play. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four, one. And that happens, like I said, at the end of the two choruses and the guitar solo. And I'm sure you could do some cymbal crashes or toms. I think in the track he overdubbed the hi-hat fill and the toms fill. And I don't have eight arms, so it's kind of hard to do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed and hope it helped you out on the learning, running down a dream. Tune in next time. Thank you.